happy Tuesday night. <laughs> I was gonna bring this to you in the morning because I ran a 5K earlier. Just a 30 minute, just something to get the heart moving. And I wasn't gonna work out, but the thing is, I ate so well today. I planned all day, I planned my diet all day to prepare myself for a really good workout tonight because I took a rest day yesterday. And um, I need this, let's just put it that way. Um, I only have 15 minutes because I'm recording on the small cam and I'm recording on YouTube, so there's a 15 minute time limit. Yay to you guys, but that doesn't mean it's a 15 minute workout. <laughs> you're gonna do the routine I'm about to share with you, you're gonna do it twice. So I'm gonna do one set and then we're gonna rotate it. Just real quick, I wanna show you, got a couple emails about the Warrior Dash. Um, harder than I thought it was gonna be. I finished uh, 147 overall. I think there were 10,000 racers, or 10, not necessarily, not everybody ran it, but there's 10,000 participants. And I um, finished 147, not bad for a 38 year old who just started working out two years ago, right? Um, but the race itself was kind of a bad experience. That's okay, just some time confusion. And um, I had a good weekend overall, And um, but I'm ready to start tomorrow. I'm ready to do tomorrow over. So um, I'm gonna go to bed and forget about this day and we're gonna start over tomorrow. And I will, um, I'm gonna go through this workout and I've got 50 second intervals and we're gonna do 12 exercises. And I'm only, in, I'm already a minute into this. I know I'm da 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 da. But I actually stole this workout. <laughs> um, but then what I did was I took about four of the exercises and put some of my Pilates moves in there and, some, and a twist, my twist on it. Um, so, but, most of these workouts I, I took, <laughs> I, I copped. So anyway, we're gonna get started and I've already done this once, so this is my second round. So I'm gonna start with side plank reach. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get into your side plank, remember this is modified, but what you're gonna do <laughs> is you're gonna reach under, come up, roll over. Reach as far under as you can. You'll have to lift up a little bit, come back up, and then roll over. Reach, ah, uh, roll over. Whew. <laughs> I was much smoother at this the first round. And then roll over. You already know I'm not the best side planker. Ah, roll over. I'm gonna try it again. Let's try to do it without losing our balance. Roll over. I'm gonna do one more, reach and up. And now we're gonna do um, hop squats. We got a 15 second break. Then we're gonna do our, our hop squats. And I'm doing it in the living room because it's too dark on the patio and I actually have room to do it. You guys know what hop squats are. We do them all the time. This, 50 seconds. kitchen and I'm not used to doing this with other people around kind of awkward <laughs> um, next we're gonna do a controlled crunch and I call it controlled because it's more of a slow Pilates crunch which is gonna be arms above your head and then crunch into it are you ready okay now the key is back straight I'm sorry, lower back pushed into the ground. Abs really tight. And when you crunch, when you come up, think about bringing that shoulder to the knees. Don't do this. Think about bringing that shoulder to the knees and you'll get a much better workout. I'm not putting my arms up, sorry. I'm used to just doing straight crunches you don't extend your arms, but of course, you know, I had to make this a little more difficult because that's how I roll. Okay, we're gonna take our break. Then we're 
we're gonna go into a pike push-up. Pike is basically booty in the air. You wanna make a V with your body. So you wanna get those hands as close to the feet as possible. Sorry, booty in the air. But you're gonna just push up. So think about a push-up. Put the crown of that head into the ground. Now obviously you probably can't go all the way up. You want your feet shoulder width apart, slightly on your toes. But you want to get as far, as far upside down as you can. You want to get as, uh, you want to bring that head into the knees and push down. Great core, great tricep, and great hamstring workout. It's more isolated in the legs, but it's still a good workout. Get a head rush on that one. <laughs> Whew. It's hot. Like I said, this is my second round, but you're going to do it again. Okay, the next we're just going to do a bridge. So, basically, what you're going to do is, you know how you do a back bend, right? I want you to lift yourself up. Now, if this is as far as you can go, then do it. But get up as far as you can and get up on your toes and bend back as far as you can. If you're not this limber, then I understand. Just get up as high as you can. If you're more limber, hey, go for it. But get back to the heels. Go as, get back as far as you can and keep the arms straight. Ooh, I'm sweating. Ah, uh, is it 50 seconds yet? Okay, Whew, I gotta wipe myself off after that. Huh. No rest now, we're gonna do our jump lunges. Which is gonna be just a regular lunge. And then you're gonna jump. Hands on your hips, hands here. Just make sure you lunge, make it a deep lunge. As many times as we've done this, you should be able to do it by now if you do my workouts. But put that jump in the middle to get the heart going. So we're burning cows while we're strength training. <sighs> oh my, I'm losing my balance. I'm gonna stand to the side because I feel like I have more room. Oh, I can feel it the second time around. Not to mention with a 5K run. <laughs> okay. Spider-Man push-ups. What you're gonna do is this is what I also call your reptile push-up. So you're gonna get in plank position, push-up position, but when you come down, you're gonna bring the knee to the wrist. Now modified would be on your knees like that. But if you're ready for the challenge, do the man push up. Oh. I'm not even counting my reps. I wish I was. Too tired to count. I'm getting tired. Not only is it bedtime, but to do this consecutively, whew, Pilates bike. I call it Pilates bike because it's the only time I see this. You want your legs 30 degree angle in the air. Then what you're going to do is bring your knees to your chest, grab that shin. Don't don't let your arms do work the legs or pull the legs toward you. Just touch your shin and you're only doing that to keep your form and keep your stomach flat. 
Abs tight, lower back pressed into the ground. You're gonna slide the, or point the toes. Just a little bit. Not a full point, but it actually works a little bit different muscle group based on how your feet are positioned. But you wanna relax the shoulders and the head when you do that. Now we're gonna do Ooh. side lunge, side lunges, woohoo, okay, you know what those are, a little bit of a hop to keep that heart racing, you want the you want straight, you want the upper body straight. Oops, I'm running into my candelabra. With the upper body straight, core tight. We're almost done, guys. Well, you're not, because you have to do another set. I'm almost done. But I don't expect most of you will be doing this tonight. So you'll probably have a lot more energy in the morning than I do right now. Okay, we're going to do our oblique crunch. We're going to start out on our side. Arms, our legs, 30 degree angle. Modified would be this with your elbow parallel to your shoulder. Challenging advanced would be this. This is another ab ripper X move on the P90X series, which was my first real hardcore ab workout, and it works, trust me. A lot of the moves I do are from that video. So if you need more guidance, maybe a little more professional guidance, then I'm giving you try it. Tony Horton knows what he's doing. He's nuts, but he knows what he's doing. Now remember, don't bring the elbow to the legs or the legs to the elbow, make a beat in the middle. Okay, I'm gonna switch sides. And heaven knows, the interval worked right the first time. Let's see if it works right second room. I'm not even gonna look at it. We'll just be surprised. Okay. Get you right then a good workout, right? Oh gosh. Just a little bit, a few more seconds. If you're on round two, don't forget I promise you I did this before. So this is my second round. If I can do it, you can do it. Just do the modified, which was that, remember? That's how I started out. You gotta start somewhere. Started out with 10 push-ups, girl push-ups, and everything modified. And I started out at like 25 minute workouts. Now I'm up to an hour, sometimes two hours a day. Stick with it, force yourself, even when you don't want to, and then it'll become a habit, and you're gonna feel like you have to do it. So it's easy. It's easy to get addicted to working out, and it's a good thing to get addicted to. And I really do care. I really do want people to work out. So, I'm tired. Peace out. Deuces. Good night and Godspeed.